Our new TV was designed to primarily hang on a wall, which is why it doesn't have a real base. Exposing all the ugly cables and power strips and things behind the TV. The final product. The other issue is that if you try to rotate it out to view it from a different angle or to pull wires in and out of the back like an HDMI cord, you have to tilt it off the shelf and that'll cause it to fall unless you're holding it and supporting it while Whoa! you do that. It's fabulous. I love it. Measure twice. Cut once. I just don't want a hard edge, so I'm going to use a quarter as a template. If you have a router, that'll dress up the edge a little bit. Just make sure you put extra board length to allow for the curve. My daughter has the Nintendo Switch, so we're going to put that on the shelf under the TV and run the wires through the back, so I need some holes for that. And you can see I used, uh, centered up four inches across and looks like two and a quarter high. Uh, three quarters is to take into account the base that it'll be sitting on and then another inch and a half to be able to fit a three-prong cord. You find a drill bit that's just a little bit under the diameter of the base of the screw and I'm using a, a one inch screw because we're going through three quarters inch of pine. I'm making room for the head of the screw to get inside the wood a little bit. Installed the screws now we just need to put this in place which is gonna look like that. Now for the fun part, but it's kind of the sad part too because I love wood grain and in order for this to not stand out, I'm gonna to have to paint it flat black. Now you can one up me and uh, try to match the stain of your entertainment center, but for today, I'm just gonna paint it black. You stay about a, about a foot away and use light coats so you don't want it to drip. That's probably pretty good for the first coat. We'll just go do some cleanup, let this dry, and we'll come back and hit it again. All right, here it is installed. You can see how that is gonna block the view to all the wires. And you see the little mouse hole for our uh, component we're gonna put in. Uh, but what I pay attention to is this corner right here. So we're gonna put a screw up through here. And I wanted to make sure a one inch screw would be fine check up the drill so it doesn't go any farther than the screw. So I just did bump it a little bit to set the spot, but you can see how that's well lined. And if you look at it this way, now these have a little angle to them, if you notice, but it looks like it's lined up pretty good. Well, you can get the idea here. I've got the TV 90 degrees to the bench now. I've added two pads there and two pads here so that when you're tur turned these two pads will still be in contact with a shelf even if these two are not so you got to put these on this side of center maybe three four inches this side of center you don't want them in the middle because then it'll create a teeter-totter so my daughter has this uh, Nintendo switch thingamabob and uh, it has a really big plug so hopefully this will fit in the inch and a half and it does so we'll be able to put that in there and then this will just cover that hole the final product not bad <laughs>